From our Tuscaloosa newsroom, the coronavirus emergency has forced many businesses in downtown historic Northport to close their doors. CBS 42's Tim Reed tells us how some store owners are coping with that. On any given day in downtown Northport, you can typically find lots of people walking, shopping, or eating at restaurants. But that's not the case anymore. Because of the coronavirus emergency, many businesses are now closed. Downtown Northport is virtually a ghost town on Main Street. Everywhere you look, you see closed signs posted on the front doors of many businesses like City Cafe and many others. We just believe that we can make it. Susan Rue is one of the few that is still open. She's the owner of Rhubarb's Real Living Women's Clothing Store. Customers cannot shop inside. It's curbside pickup only. You can make your purchases on the internet, then pick it up outside. But we just launched an online site last night, so uh, for online boutique shopping, and so uh, and so we're going to take our chances. Joe Hardy says he's never seen Main Street so empty. He's been in business 37 years and is the owner of Northport 5 and 10 store. He is open, but admits it's a struggle. Usually people are calling before they come to make sure I'm open and then calling and asking for certain items. Uh, no, it's nothing like it would normally be this time of year. The coronavirus emergency has forced so many to shut down, but Susan Rue is staying optimistic despite her sales dropping 30%. It kind of slows you down, but so, but you know that it, things can, you just stay focused on what it is that you need to do. Store owners tell us they are hoping that the coronavirus emergency will end soon so they can reopen and get back to normal. In Northport, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.